Hello, this is Miss Maddie from the Winneka Public Library, and I'm here to show you how to make our Bedtime Bears sewing kit. Uh, this is the little tin you can get at the library, and inside is our Bedtime Bear. So there's a couple different things we're going to be sewing today. Uh, the pillow, the bear, um, and then a little bit of the blanket if you want to. Uh, so that's everything that's inside, and then this is uh, what you'll find at the, in the kit uh, that we have at the library. So there's lots of puff, and we've got our blanket piece, uh, both sides of our bear, and the two pieces for the pillow, and the mattress piece inside the tin. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to sew on his face. Um, I've made some markings uh, where the eyes can go, um, but you can make them as big or as small as you'd like. Um, I'm using black thread, and then uh, I'm going to sew on his little nose and mouth as well. So now I'm going to do his nose, um, so I'm going to start with uh, just one thread that goes down the middle of where I want the nose to go, and then I'm going to start at the base and make a triangle shape on each side, and then just fill in those little triangles with black thread. So I'm going to go right back to the same place where I have the bottom of the thread, just go out to the side and make a triangle on each side. So now I'm just going to do um, a couple small stitches across the top of the nose um, to give it a more rounded look. Um, I don't want to leave the sort of unfinished edge there, so I'm just going to cover up where the thread goes back into the fabric at the top with a little uh, just stitch of black over that. And now this is uh, the mouth, and I'm just going to do one small thin stitch down, and then one on each side to make the smile. And now I'm going to sew uh, my two 
two pieces together. I've got some brown thread that matches the color of my bear. Um, and I'm gonna be doing a very small, tight whip stitch all the way around. So I'm gonna start at the neck of the bear and I'm actually gonna leave my opening for the stuffing right at the top of that arm. So I'm gonna go over this stitch um, a couple of times to make sure it's really reinforced. And then I'm just going to uh, make sure my stitches stay very small and very tight together uh, so there's nowhere for the stuffing to try to um, puff out. So now I'm just going to continue this stitch all the way around and I'm going to stop about there on the arm. So if you wanted to see the whip stitch one more time, I'm going to finish off this area. Um, I know doing under the arms can be a little hard, so I wanted to kind of show you. Um, I tend to do a stitch or two right where that uh, um, difficult area is just to make sure that it's really reinforced. Um, and then I'm going to stop my stitch right uh, in the middle of the arm and I'm going to tie a knot in the thread right there, uh, but I'm not going to cut my thread just yet. So now I'm going to tie a knot in my thread to make sure when I put the stuffing in, it doesn't pull uh, the stitch out. Uh, so I'm just going to go in through one of my other back stitches and then pull a knot right through it. Um, but I'm not going to cut my thread off because uh, I will need it to finish out the area. So now I'm going to stuff my bear and I'm going to do it in a whole bunch of small chunks. Um, filling something this small with limbs, um, you just want to try to do them one limb at a time. So I'm going to try to get it into this leg right over there. Um, I'm using a pen because it has a nice flat edge that you can kind of work the stuffing around uh, to get down into that leg. Uh, and then I'm going to do the other leg, the arm, and the head I'm going to do last.
so now that I've got the stuffing inside of my bear, um, I'm just going to try to move it around uh, a little bit, make sure it's in all those little places. Um, I'm going to put a little bit in the body, uh, to sort of fill out the middle there, and then I'm going to sew up the edge of the arm. Uh, so I still have my thread there, and I'm just going to continue the same sort of stitch uh, all the way around. So now I'm going to tie the knot in the back of my bear, and he is going to be good to go. So now I'm going to sew up the pillow. Um, so I'm going to use some teal thread so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, if you want to use the same color as the felt piece that you have. Uh, it'll hide the stitching, but um, I'm going to use teal so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, so I'm going to be doing a blanket stitch all the way around the edge of the pillow, and then I'll stuff it, uh, and then sew up the hole at the end. So I sewed up a little bit more on the edge there, and I left a hole, uh, and same as I did with the bear, I tied in knots, and now I'm going to stuff it. And then I'm going to finish my blanket stitch around and tie another knot, uh, and cut off my thread. Uh, this one's much easier to stuff than the bear, so <laughs> don't worry.
last thing we have to sew is our blankets. Um, I'm just going to fold it over and I'm going to do a simple line stitch. Uh, and I'll show you how to do that right here. So what you're going to do is you're going to hide your knot through the folded over piece of fabric. And then you're just going to make one stitch over to get to the back. And I'm actually just going to reinforce this side by going over my same stitch a second time. And then I'm going to start my line stitch. So I'm going to go two over in the back. And then one stitch back in the front. And then I'm going to go two stitches over in the back and one stitch back in the front. So in the back you're going to have a long line of uh, thread that you can see um, and it looks pretty messy but in the front you should have these very consistent, um, very sturdy stitches in the front. Just gonna tie a knot uh, and your blanket is finished and you'll be able to tuck in your bear. Well I hope you enjoyed making your bedtime bear today and if you ever have any questions you can reach us at the Winnetka Public Library and we'll see you next time.